What's going on guys, it's your homeboy Jojo Kaiser here. I'm back with another story time video for you guys today. Hopefully you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. I know I am. And for today's story time, this story time isn't necessarily about me. It's about a friend back in ninth grade, but I was there during the entire situation. So I guess it has stuff to do with me, except not really. Trust me, it makes much more sense later on in the story. But without further ado, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. And with all that said, let's get on with today's story time. 3, 2, 1, Badoof. So as stated before, this story time took place back in ninth grade. You guys know the entire drill of what I do during the morning time. I get up, brush my teeth, take a shower, eat breakfast, put on clothes, you know, just a whole shebang. So anyways, I get to school, and as I get to school, I go to the lunchroom, and you know, I'm sitting down, talking with my friends and whatnot before school starts, and then one of my other friends, who for the sake of the story time, I'm going to just call Kevin, right? So Kevin comes into the lunchroom, he sits down next to us, so then Kevin taps me on the shoulder, and it's like, hey dude, um, I gotta talk to you for a second, do you mind coming to the bathroom with me? And I was like, okay, I mean, it seems a little bit sus that you want me to go to the bathroom with you, but sure, why not? So anyways, we get to the bathroom, right? And as soon as we get inside the bathroom, I turn to Kevin and I ask Kevin, all right, Kevin, what's going on? And then this guy proceeds to go into the back of his pocket, like the back part of his like pants pocket, and proceeds to pull out a certain substance that I'm pretty sure I can't say on YouTube because, you know, YouTube might take down this video. But let's just say for the sake of the topic at hand, he took out a certain substance that requires him to put certain substance inside his body called magic that's literally the term that i'm going to use for the rest of the video so if you don't like that sorry there's nothing that i can do and something that i want to keep in mind is that i've known this guy since middle school like we've been friends together literally since like the sixth grade right so the fact that he would take in the arts of magic in his entire life up until this point was something that i've never known up until this particular point so yeah this is complete news to me so anyways, I'm seeing this substance in the literal palms of my friend's hand, right? And I turn back to him, and I'm like, okay, um, why do you have that on you? And an even bigger question, why would you bring that to school? Because like, why? Why bring stuff like that to school, right? So I'm telling him all of this, and he's like, well, I don't know, man. I mean, I just wanted to bring it to school because sometimes I get really anxious in the middle of the class. And, you know, sometimes I will go to the bathroom and, you know, take up this substance because sometimes I get really anxious and i'm like dude i totally get that sometimes you know school can be really hard for a lot of people depending on you know the situation that you're in but you don't bring stuff like that to school like come on man what if you get caught you wouldn't want to get in trouble because you decided to bring magic to school so then kevin was like yeah all right you're probably right i shouldn't do this in in school right now and i was like thank you kevin like i don't want you to get in trouble right as your friend i don't want you to get in trouble in, in any way shape or form and then kevin was like yeah you're right i'm sorry i was like no problem so me and kevin walk back inside the lunchroom we sit down with our other friends right and one of my friends was like so uh what were you and Kevin doing in the bathroom? I was like, look, dude, I don't want to talk about it. It's personal stuff. I just really don't want to talk about it. So anyways, the bell rings, first period starts, and coincidentally, me and Kevin both have the exact same class with each other. Plus, on top of that, we're both assigned to the exact same seat next to each other. So co so coincidentally, I was going to talk to him and, you know, be in the situation in and of itself, which realistically, I didn't mind sitting with him as like an assigned seat. It's just that in result of that, you know, comes the actual conflict of the story. Now, some details that I want to be able to mention real quick before going on with the story is that my first period of class was uh, history, and my history teacher, who for the sake of the story time, I'm going to call him Mr. Snack, because why not? I don't know. Uh, so Mr. Snack overall was a pretty decent teacher. Like, I didn't have any issues with him. So for the months that I did have him as like our primary teacher for first period, I didn't have any issues with him. Plus on top of that, like I was getting good grades in his class anyways, so I didn't really think that anything bad was gonna happen. But wait until you hear the entire story and you're gonna find out why that's no longer the case. So like 10 minutes into the class, right? We're just taking notes and you know, going through today's lesson and whatnot. And to the left of me, I noticed that, you know, Kevin's like his head is in his book bag. I'm thinking, what the heck? Because he wouldn't usually do that in the middle of class, right? So I tap him on the shoulder, right? And, you know, he looks at me like he turns his head, but his head is still inside his book bag. And the moment he did that, I noticed that once again, I see a certain substance that I can't say on YouTube 
like he's he's doing something with the substance right and i'm pretty sure a lot of you can you know piece together that he was basically take partaking in the form of consuming magic in his body right so i see this and then i whisper to him dude what the heck are you doing then kevin responds to me and he's like well what do you mean bro and i'm like dude you're literally partaking substance in your book bag in the middle of first period like we just had a conversation about why you shouldn't do this maybe you shouldn't do it like just stop please put that out before someone sees you and as soon as i say that mr snack literally shouts out in the middle of class hey you guys pay attention stop talking right and so i look up and i see mr snack literally pointing at me as he's saying this and then the rest of the class starts laughing and i get embarrassed by this because like oh my god kevin you are not going to get me in trouble for something that i didn't do and sure enough right that's what happens next because you want to know what kevin does instead of just keeping his head inside his book bag so that way he can get in less trouble he proceeds to pull out his entire head and while doing so there's a bunch of smoke just coming from his book bag just like so much smoke and you want to know what makes this situation like 10 times worse right it's not like there's a situation where only me and kevin were able to see the smoke coming from his book bag because trust me if that really happened then we wouldn't be having a story time video right but sure enough there's a bunch of students in the classroom and everyone including mr snack sees the smoke coming from my friend's book bag and then i face palm thinking oh my god don't tell me that my friend is about to get in trouble for him being a dumbass like oh my god so then Mr. Snack, who, by the way, was one of the chillest teachers I've ever had in my high school life, says, Oh my god, are you guys smoking in the middle of a classroom right now? It's first period. What do you guys think you're doing? So then I turn to him and I respond, No, 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 no. I am not doing what you think I'm doing right now. And then he says, That's it. Both of you go to the hallway right now. I'm going to talk to you in the next few minutes. And so I'm standing there thinking to myself, Oh my god, I cannot believe that I'm about to get in trouble because my friend decided to be a complete idiot. So anyways, right, me and my friend go to the hallway, we wait for like a few minutes, and then Mr. Snack walks to the hallway with us, and is like, oh my god, I'm so disappointed in you guys, I can't believe you guys would consider smoking in the middle of classroom right now, I can't believe you guys would do this, you're so rude and disrespectful, why would you ever do this in the middle of classroom, I can't believe it, you have any idea how much trouble I can, I can put you guys in, and I'm like, Mr. Snack, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, I'm telling you, I wasn't doing what you think I was doing. Like, I'm upset too. I'm upset that my friend did this. Like, I really am. I don't know why he would do something like that in the middle of class. So then Kevin finally speaks up and is like, look, Mr. Snack, like, my friend over here wasn't trying to do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Like, if you're going to punish someone, punish me. Like, I was the one that was partaking in the arts of magic. So, like, don't get him in trouble. He didn't do anything wrong. But Mr. Snack was not having any of that because he says, I don't care what you guys have to say. Even if that was the case, that means you, and he points at me. That means you knew that your friend brought over a substance today that we all know is bad to bring to school and that he was going to take part in the art of consuming magic and you decided not to tell anyone about it. You're just as in trouble as he is at this point. I'm like, that makes no sense because if I wasn't the one that did it, then you can't really get in trouble get me in trouble for something that I didn't do. And so Mr. Snack was like, look, at this point, I'm going to tell the principal about this. You know, by the end of the day, I'm going to tell the principal about this. You guys are going to be in so much trouble. So give me that right now. And then Kevin gives him, you know, the particular substance, right? And we go back into the class. We sit down. The class is laughing at us because they were able to hear everything that was going on in the hallway, right? And so I'm sitting down with my hands literally in my face, just like in, in complete shock. Because now I'm in a situation where I could potentially get into a lot of trouble because my friend had decided to be an idiot and take up substance in the middle of the class. So anyways, fast forward a couple of periods later, it's, it's lunchtime right now and I'm just sitting there with me. And so it's just me and a couple of friends just sitting there eating lunch and talking and whatnot. And I tell them about the whole situation that happened in first period, right? And I thought to myself, you know what, I should probably go see Mr. Snack and, you know, apologize to him for, you know, how quote unquote rude I was being, even though I wasn't being rude because I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, and I told Kevin to come with me because he basically got me in trouble. So then Kevin was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So anyways, we walk over to Mr. Snack's classroom, right, that we have for first period. But before we walk in, right, we notice that there's a certain smell that's like coming from the room itself, but the... But the door to the room was closed, so we weren't able to see what was happening. But we noticed that there was a certain smell that was coming from his room. 
And so I open the door, and you want to know what, what Mr. Snack is doing? Like, do you really want to know what Mr. Snack was doing, right? This hypocritical pile of garbage proceeds to start literally partaking in the arts of magic, right? In the middle of the classroom that originally belonged to my friend, right? And so we storm in being like, Mr. Snack, what are you doing? And then Mr. Snack proceeds to just fall to the ground because he was sitting like on a chair in the middle of the classroom, like containing this substance, which is magic. And then I happened to slam the, the door very dramatically, right? Which resulted in him falling to the ground. So he does this. And so for a few seconds, he starts to get up and he's like, uh, 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 so what are you guys doing here? Aren't you guys supposed to be, you know, in lunch right now? Blah, 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 blah. And I say, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to have lunch right now, but I wanted to come up here to apologize for, you know, all the trouble that I was causing you. But it seems like you're, you're partaking in the arts of magic yourself, which in turn is making you a huge hypocrite. Plus on top of that, you're using my friend's substance in order for you to get high. Like why? Why? That makes no sense. Why would you do that? And then Mr. Snack has the audacity to be like, well, well, unlike you two, I'm an adult, so I can do it. I'm like, dude, your logic makes no sense, and I'm gonna tell you why. One, you are a teacher. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be taking any kind of substance, right, when you're working on the clock. Two, you were literally getting on our case first period for us partaking in the art of magic and saying how it was bad for our bodies. Don't you think that by you doing that, that you're being a huge hypocrite, right? And three, you're yelling at us for catching you doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. Don't you see how completely messed up and twisted your mindset is? And as soon as I say that, do you want to know who walks into the classroom with both me and Kevin, right? The principal of the school literally walks into the classroom as I'm explaining all this to him. And he's like, what's going on, right? But before he, he gets a chance to finish his entire sentence, he looks at me, Kevin, and Mr. Snack, right? And keep in mind, Mr. Snack was, was just finished taking in magic in his body, right? So his eyes are like completely red, he's sweating, he's, he looks bad basically, right? And so the principal is like, someone better explain what's going on in here? Because if no one does it, all of y'all are getting in trouble. So anyways, all three of us, including my teacher, walk into the main office, right? And we and we each give our own versions of the story. I go first and I'm like, look, like I wanted to come in here to apologize about something that happened in first period, blah, blah, blah. And on top of that, I open up the door and I see my teacher literally partaking in the arts of magic. So then Kevin was like, yeah, I can vouch for my friend. Both me and him wanted to come into, you know, the classroom like a few minutes ago just to talk to our teacher about what happened earlier today but we saw him partaking in the art of magic so yeah that's literally what happened and then you came into the room so there's that and so my teacher and you know to be honest it's a little bit funny because of how completely twisted like this this situation is so that mr snack was like look i caught these two literally you know partaking m magic in their bodies earlier today and you know i told them in the hallway that what they were doing was bad but it's <laughs> it's funny and you want to know why because from the principal's perspective all he saw was his own like employee basically literally partaking in the art of magic in the middle of his classroom right and two students literally catching him do it so from the principal's perspective like he thought that he saw pretty much everything that happened and yeah um my teacher got in trouble like he got in not like too much trouble but just a little bit of trouble to the point where it now stays on on his record as a teacher so there's that uh so yeah he he basically gets um unpaid leave for like two weeks i believe i can't really remember like how long it lasted but as soon as he got back like he was completely upset at both me and you know kevin and he just hated us from that point on he just didn't like us and you know to be fair like my friend was the one that originally made this situation happen in the first place so i get why he would be upset at him but apparently he's upset at me as well for giving my side of the story which makes no sense but sure enough he just doesn't like me anymore now, he didn't do anything bad in terms of, you know, affecting my grade or anything like that. He just didn't like me from that point on, so there's that. Um, moral of the story, I guess, um, don't take in substances in school. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, don't take any substances at all if you're not of the legal age to do so. 
but uh yeah guys that's pretty much the end of today's story time about how my history teacher got in trouble for something that my friend did and he no longer likes us anymore so i hope you all enjoyed today's story time if you did make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more of my dumb content i hope you all have a wonderful day and until next time this is jojo kaiser signing out make sure you stay sexy and wear a condom a uh, peace